Hello, my name's Oliver Covey, and today I'm going to show you how to make head pins. Now let's get started. I'm going to begin with the copper. This is 20 gauge. Just cut the length that you need. And then get your hammer and use the big side, and use your smashing knot. Now you're just going to take the end and figure out how much you want that to be rolled up. You can make it a big round roll, or you can make it a really small roll, but enough to keep the bead on. This is how much I'm going to do. Now you're going to take your round nose pliers, and you're going to grab them by the very tip, just like that. And now you're going to twist, and keep on twisting till you get the size that you want. And then once you're here, you'll bend the wire back and get it straight with the swirl, as you can see. So there is a very simple way on how you can make a head pin. Now I will show you how to make the sterling silver head pin. I use 100% silver. It melts a lot easier because it's so soft. Now you can use sterling silver, but as you can tell, it makes the ends really dark and it's really hard to melt. So I'm going to get my torch here. And I'll get my wire nice and straightened, just like that. Now I will cut the length that I want. You either can use tweezers or I use my chain nose pliers to hold it with. Don't grab too close to the end or you may risk burning and ruining your chain nose pliers. Now I'm going to turn my torch on high and hold the tip of your wire at the tip of the blue flame. And as you can see, it's super simple. You can make it bigger or smaller depending on what size you want that end to look like. So here we go. And there you go, two different ways to make head pins. They both look great and are very easy to make. You can do this at home, which is a lot cheaper than buying them online. You could save a lot more money doing it this way. Thanks for watching. Make sure you share, subscribe, and comment.